All right, what's up guys? It's me Mo and today we're going to be showing you the best settings in Warzone. So I'll be showing you guys the best sensitivity settings for controller and break down my reasons why. All right, so the first thing we're going to be taking a look at is the tactical button layout. I've been using tactical button layout since Modern Warfare 3 and basically what this lets you do is drop shot more easily and also lets you take cover and slide cancel a lot easier than if you were to use default button layout. My dead zone is set to five because my controller is fairly, I've got a pretty brand new controller. So I'm able to run five dead zone without getting any stick drift at all. For my sensitivity, I have four, four sensitivity. I feel like you don't really need a high sensitivity, especially for boots on the ground games and especially Warzone when a lot of your engagements are pretty like medium to long range. Uh, I feel like 4-4 sensitivity just makes my aim so, so consistent and uh, it's just a lot of fun. It's so much fun to just be able to consistently beam people across the map and just being like, what did I just do to that guy? Uh, for my ADS sensitivity multiplayer, we have 0.7, basically just to make my aim assist a little bit more sticky. Uh, if you guys have ever played this game on console and ever felt like your aim assist just disappears, I have my not I have 0.7 ADS just to you know just to help with the uh, aim assist to make it a little bit more consistent uh, because sometimes it just completely disappears and at least if it does disappear midway through a gunfight that my sensitivity is slow enough for me to control it. Also, having a really slow ADS also means so I have more control uh, over my overall aim and I'm able to control recoil and track people a lot and I mean a lot better. For aim assist response curve, I have set the standard. And for my aim assist, I have set the standard. So that's pretty much going to be everything that you're going to need. Uh, I, I don't want to be one of those YouTubers that literally take you through every single setting. Because I know that's not what you guys are here for. Uh, I have a bunch of wins. I, have, I think I have six wins that I got today. Uh, all using these settings. So yeah, it's my Mimo. And if you want to watch the gameplay, you can. But yeah. Peace. Third to our right, over there. Our strike down. One burst at him? What the fuck? I literally one burst at him, bro. Ah. Uh, Got the full kill. Knocked him. I knocked him over there. Oh my god, there's a default just laying down behind the rock. Right there. Nice. Last guy. Last guy is, is knocked. He, I knocked him. But I couldn't arse trigger because. Here, I'm throwing this thing down with their this armor box, and I, I, I have the heal. Ah, killed him. Killed him where Shit, we have to pull to them. It's okay. This is loaded two zero. Got We've got away. mega advantage here. Be advised, I hit him. Oh, they are straight. Yeah. Knocked one. Back to back, baby. Let's go, dude. Oh, ten remain. You nearly died. Let's move. Made it through and took the wind. Well done. GG, you know. Hot them. Yeah. Beat him. I'm Knock one. Oh, nice, dude. Did. Let's fucking go, bro. Good fight. Alright, bro. Let's go, brother. One weapon. Right. Crossbow. Alright. Kill the solo over there. Snape over here. We, have that, we should probably grab, grab that bird. I'm gonna grab the birth, okay? I'm gonna grab the birth. I'm gonna buy another gas mask, okay? Good. 
2v2. One of them's probably in the sky, bro. Just play your life. Oh, he's in the, they're in the bunker. They're in the bunker. See the guys in the bunker. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Go back, go back. I are striked it. Knocked one, knocked one. Hey, that Bertha. This is Striker 3 1. Good copy. Strike in back. That's the guy I killed at airport. 